Hey, Dr. Hill, my name is Jared. What we do is we just try and educate uh, chiropractors around the country. And if you uh, like what you see, if you like, you know, the sound of my voice, perhaps, you know, um, maybe we could work together and trying to fix some of these things. I am only looking for one chiropractor per town. I don't want to work with more than one because it's a conflict of interest for us. Uh, we really are trying to help uh, a single office grow to the best of our abilities, and we are not in the business of churning customers. So we only work with the one, um, but without further ado, let's dive into the website and see what we see. Uh, if you take value out of this and run with it, um, you know, congratulations, I'm happy for you. Uh, you know, that's the point of this is if we don't want to do business, maybe I can help you help yourself a little bit. So here we go. Let's see what we see. So as you can see this photo right here, if we just right click and save as, uh, you can see that it's saved as, you know, a long list of words. This is what we like to see. Um, but these words are not necessarily the keywords we want to be targeting. Um, so we want to find out what words are actually bringing competitor traffic and then we want to target those words specifically so even though you say chiropractor and you also say Duluth that's not in the order and or format that we want to put it in um, you know to be able to be found by Google so it's very important to do this uh, in a very meticulous way here we are in the services sector so um, if we save this image as well so this is saved as just the date that it was posted looks like 2015 or maybe it was taken um, so 2015 so um, definitely want to go through the whole website and find any and everything that we can um, rename and try and rename those the, the right thing. So your logo up there is named download. Um, so we really want to try and adjust all that. And the reason being is because even though it doesn't matter to the person who is looking at the website, it does matter a lot to Google. So a picture is worth a thousand words to us. It's worth exactly what we type into that bar to Google. Uh, and then right here as well, these look like to me like they should be uh, clickable. So if we could make these into links and kind of build out the interlinking in the site, uh, that's going to help your uh, chances to get ranked as well because Google really likes to see websites that people put time and energy into. They really want to send people to quality websites um, that are going to be a good experience for the user. All right, so I went ahead and just dove straight into the overview of your site and then accidentally clicked right into keywords. So we're going to back up in a minute and talk about the overview, but this is the section that is the keywords you're getting found for. So I do want to pat you on the back because you do have one of the big hitters here right at top. So you're ranked number four. Um, so you're fourth down on the front page of Google for this word, and you're bringing in 40 traffic a month. What I would like to try and see is not only make that four a one, because you did just go down and rank. You're going down and rank there, down and rank there. Um, so we definitely want to make sure we keep on top of this SEO and really bring that website back to the top. And then as we're building out those photos, um, we want to be um, you know, putting those keywords in. So these ones in green are the keywords we really want to be targeting. And then you can see the volume uh, that we would be trying to grab right here. So 450, 80, 600, and then another 360 right here. So definitely something to keep in mind that if 450 people are searching this, you're ranked number four, and you're getting 40 people a month. If we could rank all seven of these in the number one, two, three, four spots, how much traffic could we be getting off of that? Uh, you can see over here that you are ranked in the top this one as well but then we start to drop down uh, off the front page after that so let's go ahead and take a look at the overview so here's the overview of your web website this is a refs this is a tool we use um, to look at the back end of all the websites we work with all the competitors that we are competing against and we use this tool to really help us take advantage of what the competition has already done in terms of research and homework so again you can see that you are getting found for a decent amount of traffic you do have a couple of big hitters in the words that you are being found for so that's going to be driving uh you know the proper traffic with that but you were getting found for a lot of keywords with your name in it and that's going to be um, representing return traffic to the site so that's not going to be the new clients those are people who are trying to find um, your address for you know because they forgot how to get to the office or a phone number to try and make another appointment with you so that's going to be that return traffic base uh, and we really want to try and build out as much of the you know original and new client base as we could possibly get like i said you are moving down in the ranks and so right here you can see the 0 0.6 is your um, backlink and domain profile rating which is going to be these two numbers right here so you have 19 other websites that you've reached out to and they are putting 92 links or photos or you know blog posts or citation anything like that that is going to be helping drive traffic from that website back to your website so you get you have 19 other websites making 92 links back to your website uh, total out of that 19 
Um, so we can see that this rating is really low, right? So this is out of 100. So a 0 0.6 out of 100 is going to be the score you're getting for this work. Um, and so out of these 19 other websites, only eight of them are actually giving you credit. So you're at a 42% do follow. We really want to try and get that up to a 70, 80% uh, and disassociate ourselves with some of these negative websites, if not just um, bring in so many good sites that we can bring the percentage up that way. So here we're using the keyword tool of the AREFs tool. Uh, we went ahead and clicked through Chiropractor Duluth, Minnesota. You can see that 600 people are searching that and it's costing $3 per click if you want to pay for Google Ads. So I definitely recommend paying for some Google Ads, but some Google Ads, it would be better, or some Google Words, it would be better for us to just rank the website organically. Uh, but they're not all bad, so I definitely do recommend some of that. And then here we can see a lot of other keywords that we could go through and, um, you know, kind of pick out the other words that we want to be targeting as well. And then down here, the reason why we're here is we're looking for our competitor. We want to know what the competitor looks like. And so we can see in this section, these are the top 10 websites that are on the front page of Google for this word. Uh, so we can see that you're right down here at number nine. So you're down here at number nine, and then we're going to go ahead and grab this one here at the top. Uh, that's number one and see what their site looks like. So as you can see here, this truly is the reason why we're reaching out to you in the first place. The, the competition is really not doing very hot. So they have a 2.8 for their all, overall score, so not hard to beat, but they've only reached out to two websites to get two backlinks. So super small profile there. Um, they're only getting found for the 57 keywords, but they're targeting the keywords that are driving in 207 traffic per month. So let's dive into their keywords real quick and see what they've got. So you can see here there's quite a big difference in the amount of uh, targeted keywords that these guys have that they're targeting. So you can see right here, all of these big numbers are sitting right at the top. They're ranked number one for two of them, and they're in the fifth position for one, which is still being able to drive 32 traffic a month, which is, um, you know, impressive to say the least, but that is a photo. So that might be it as well. It's, it's their people are clicking on some sort of photo uh, and we could look at that. But what we want to really take note of is it being ranked for number one, out of 250, we're going to grab 61. Out of 600, we're going to grab 60. Um, so, and they just got there. So this 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 number here is going to be low. They just went up six spots. So they're actually, um, you know, trying to improve this. It looks like, but really looking at how much of this traffic we can grab and what kind of customers are they going to be? Are they going to be return clients? Are they going to be uh, new clients looking for our services in the area? Um, are they going to be somebody like me who found you and is calling you for some other third? party reason. So I hope this was helpful for you. Really the whole goal here is just to try and educate you on what's going on with your website and what kind of opportunities are out there. Um, if you have any questions, reach back out to me at 402-515-7222. I'd love to talk to you. My name is Jared. Thanks.